Welcome to the online session of Plant Engineering. My name is Vishal Acharya. Today we will discuss about the tariff for the electrical energy and performance and operating characteristic of power plant. First tariff for the electrical energy. What is the tariff? Rate are the different method of charging of consumer for the consumption of the electricity. It is reasonable to the charge consumer according to the maximum demand and the energy consumption. The tariff choose should be recover the fixed cost, operating cost and profit etc. in generating the electrical energy. The requirement of the tariff means the tariff should be satisfy some requirement. First, it should be easier to understand. Second, it should provide the low rate of the high consumption. Third, it should encourage the customer having the high load factor. Four, it should take into the account the maximum demand charges and energy charges. Fifth, it should be provide the less charges for power connection than for lighting. It should be avoidable the complication of separate writing metering connection. Here, general rate form, the general type of tariff can be represented by the following equation e is equal, Z is equal to X plus BY plus C. Here, Z is equal to total amount of bill for the peer consider. X is equal to maximum demand in the kilowatt. Y is equal to energy consumed in the kilowatt hour during the period consider. A is equal to rate per kilowatt of the maximum demand. B is equal to energy rate of the kilowatt hour and C is equal to constant amount charge to the consumer during the each billing period. Here first is the rate demand rate. It is based on the parameter of the lamp installed and the fixed number of hour of the use of the month of the year. The rate is expressed as a certain price per lamp or per unit demand of the consumer. This energy rate eliminates the use of the metering equipment. It is expressed by the expression. Here, the demand is a fixed, so use the plate demand rate. Next is the straight line meter rate. In the, according to this energy rate, the amount to be charged from the consumer depend upon the energy consumed in the kilowatt hour, which is recorded by means of the kilowatt hours meter. Here, our cost is increased, which increase the energy consumption. The rates suffer from the drawback that consumer using no energy will not pay amount. Also, the incur some expenses to the power station due to the readiness to serve him. Second is the rate per kilowatt hour is fixed, whereas the tariff does not encourage to consumer to use more power. Means that here kilowatt to price calculate so no extra code when the extra code is not so industrial when supplier on the very less and also tariff is the fix means the tariff does not increase the customer to use the more power next is the block meter rate here block meter rate the level of y1 y2 y3 here y1 y2 and y3 and the total energy consumption B1 plus Y1, B2 plus Y2, B3 into Y3. Here management to is decided by the management to recover the capital cost of the plant. According to the tenants, the same price per unit is charged for or, or any part of the block, each unit and subsiding block of energy, the corresponding unit charges decrease. It means you use 100 megawatt, so, sorry, 100 watt, so your price is the 1 watt to Five rupees, but you use 200. The 100 to 200 price is the four RS, and above the 300 units use your price per unit is the 2.5 or 3. Means the when use the energy increase, your per unit price is decrease. Next is a three part tariff of the audit. According to this tariff, the consumer pays more.
some fixed amount in the addition to charges the maximum demand energy consumed the fixed amount to be charged depend upon the occasional increase in the fuel price rise in the wages of the labor etc here the equation is equal to z is equal to x plus by plus c next is the performance and operating characteristic of power plant here the performance of the generating power plant is compared by average efficiency over a period of time the average efficiency of power plant is the ratio of useful energy output to the total energy input during the period of the consider the performance of the plant can be precisely represented by the input output curve from the test conducted on the individual power plant the input output curve is a graphical represent between the net output and output the input is the generally expressed in the megajoule per hour and load output is expressed in the megawatt the input and hydro power plant is measured in the meter cube per second of water here input output curve represented by the i is equal to a plus bl plus cl square plus dl cube here the efficiency curve is the defined the power for a power plant is the ratio of output to input here efficiency is equal to l upon i means the l is equal to output rate i means the input input here represented by the a plus bl plus cl square plus dl cube so we write that efficiency is equal to l upon the a plus bl plus cl square plus dl cube next phenomena is the heat rate here the heat rate is defined as the input per heat output here heat rate graph when increase the output here some heat rate is decrease decrease and the value is the constant here heat rate is equal to ratio of the input upon the output input in the term of the kilojoule and output in the term of the kilowatt hour for the input we write that a plus bl plus cl square plus l cube upon the l so heat rate is equal to a by l plus b plus cl plus dl square here the relation between the heat rate and efficiency is the efficiency is equal to 1 upon the heat rate means the efficiency is the reciprocal value of the heat rate our next phenomena is the incremental rate it is defined as the ratio of the additional input required to the increased additional output means the here in shown figure some additional input and addis so we get the additional output but here the line is straight for the small parameter and we increase the parameters the line is not straight it is the represented by the sum curve is called the incremental rate curve here therefore incremental rate is equal to increase the some additional input divided by to the additional output in the term of the kilojoule and the output in the term of the kilowatt hour so we write that increase the input is equal to incremental rate multiply with the increase the additional output so we get the integration both the side for the limit for the input is i1 to i2 and output is the l1 to the l2 so we get the incremental difference is i2 minus i is equal to limit of integration l1 to l2 ir del r we write that the incremental rate is equal to del i upon l. here input is the a plus bl plus cl square plus dl cube so we integ we differential with respect to load here a with differential load is 0 bl value b cl square 2 cl dl cube 3 dl so this value is for the incremental rate b to cl plus 3 dl square next is the when the heat 
rate now here the value for the minimum value of the heat rate here the slope will be the same this kind of incremental rate and heat rate is the same we write it from the form of the equation for the minimum heat rate the differential with respect to load is zero here heat rate is equal to input upon the output del i by l divided by 2 del l with differential with respect to load is equal to 0 so we write that l into del i minus i into del l upon the l square is equal to 0 here we multiply 0 with l square is we getting the 0 so that l into del i minus i into del l is equal to 0 here del i upon del l is equal to i upon l here increase the some additional input to the increase the sum getting the added output this term is called the incremental rate and here the ratio of the input to the output is term is called the heat rate so here for hr value when minimum incremental rate and the heat rate is same thank you